Are you tired of being poor? Do you want to learn the best money maker in Hypixel Skyblock? Then sit down, subscribe, and pay attention, because I'm going to teach you how to go from the penniless hub begging non that you are to the wealth flexing Giga Chad you want to be. In this video, I'm going to walk you through every step from I've never mined before to I never want to mine again. And I'll make you a deal. You remember to like and subscribe, and I'll remember to put chapters in so you can easily skip to the information you need. If you'd like to join my Discord community, or if you just want a place to chat about Skyblock, there's a link in the description. Let's get into it. Start by getting level 12 mining. The fastest way to do this is mining sand on the farming islands with a golden shovel. Sand only gives 3 XP per block, but you can break it very quickly. If you're an Iron Man, mine in the deep caverns instead to gather the resources for Reese. <coughs> when you have level 12 mining, you'll need any three of these. Bring them to the bottom level of the deep caverns and give them to Reese. Now you've unlocked the Dwarven Mines. You can type slash HOTM anywhere to open your Heart of the Mountain. It functions as a skill tree, allowing you to choose perks with tokens of the mountain and level them up with mithril and later gemstone powder. You can reset the tree every 24 hours. The first reset is free, but after that it costs 100k each time. Buy the first pickaxe from Boo Boo or get a pick Nimbus 2000 from the auction house if you can afford one. Buy a set of Glacite armor as well, and don't forget to enchant your mining tool with efficiency 5. Walk to the king. Talk to the king. Do four commissions for the king, and then stop. Dwarven mine commissions are worth 100 XP each, but the first four commissions you do each day give 900 bonus experience. This means that doing four daily bonus commissions gives you a total of 4,000 Heart of the Mountain experience. It takes 12,000 to get to Heart of the Mountain level 3, so my advice is to do four commissions a day on three separate days. For Heart of the Mountain level 1, dump everything into mining speed. For level 2, take mining fortune into titanium and sanium to make commissions easier. And for level 3, take the active mining skill, mining speed boost. You are now effectively finished with the dwarven mines unless you need to use the forge or buy a ticket to the hollows. You can access the crystal hollows by talking to Gwendolyn. Crystal hollows commissions give 400 XP each instead of 100. Placing all five crystals also awards 800 XP and some randomized loot. You'll need to buy a few things. Start with either a few pick nimbus or get yourself a ruby drill. They both have breaking power 7. Buy an armadillo pet of any rarity. You can now break rubies, ambers, sapphires, jades, and amethysts, but not topaz or jasper. Ride the armadillo while holding the drill or pick nimbus to break gemstones, as it'll be a lot faster than mining them manually. While mining anything other than gemstones, hold something else like a jungle pickaxe so you don't waste your fuel or pick a nimbus uses. If the armadillo runs out of energy, stop riding it, but keep it summoned. It'll regenerate energy over time while it's out. Do at least four commissions each day from now on if you can. If you want to grind commissions after your four dailies, go ahead since these commissions give four times as much XP. You'll need Heart of the Mountain 4 to break Topaz, so if you get a Topaz Gemstone Collector commission, You'll either need to ignore it, or open chests and kill Yogs in the magma fields until it's done. The cheapest option to break Topaz is the upgraded Ruby Drill, the Gemstone Drill LT522. You can use it until Heart of the Mountain level 6, when you can start using the Gemstone Gauntlet. Your next goal here is Heart of the Mountain 7. Level 3 to level 7 took me about 30 hours, give or take, but your mileage may vary. I don't really have any advice here, you just have to do a lot of commissions. Good luck. Now that you're Heart of the Mountain 7, it's time to grind Mithril and Gemstone Powder. The only things you need to focus on are having over 1500 mining speed to instantly break Hardstone, and getting as many points in the Mole, Great Explorer, and Powder buff as you can. Mole allows you to break more Hardstone, Great Explorer gives you a higher chest spawn chance, and Powder buff gives you more Mithril and Gemstone Powder. Break as much Hardstone as you can, as fast as you can, to spawn as many chests as you can. Opening these chests is by far the best source of powder in the game. The powder buff perk scales multiplicatively with the 2 times powder event, meaning if you have a level 50 powder buff, and you open a chest during a double powder event, you'll receive a total of triple the base amount of powder. Or to put it another way, if a chest has a thousand gemstone powder in it, level 50 powder buff brings it up to 1500, but a double powder event would bring that up to 3000. Keep grinding chests until you have at least 4 million mithril powder and around 6 million gemstone powder. 
This should allow you to max out the perks you need from the mithril part of the tree and get close to max level in the gemstone part of the tree. You could go for 100% max now if you wanted to, but there are some diminishing returns on those last few levels. If you do decide to go for it, it's about 12 million gemstone powder to fully max out the tree. Set up your tree to prioritize mining fortune, then mining speed. Deactivate efficient miner as gems broken by it do not activate pristine. Your equipment should always prioritize pristine first, then fortune, then speed. For armor, use Divan if you can afford it, Soro if you can't, and Yogg armor if you can't afford Soro yet. Reforge to Jaded with a Jaderold if you're using Soro or Divan. I don't think Yogg is worth using Jaderolds on, but that's up to you. For a mining tool, a gemstone gauntlet is probably the most cost-effective option, and it doesn't require any fuel. Another option here is the titanium drill, which can be upgraded later to a Divan's drill. And finally, the jasper drill might look appealing at first, but remember, it can't have a topaz gemstone socketed into it, meaning you're losing just a little bit of pristine, and it has no upgrade path. The upside is it's a lot more affordable. Whichever tool you choose, remember to enchant it with Pristine 5. If you're mining below Y65, use a legendary ball pet, as its 15% stat boost applies to both Fortune and Pristine. If you're above Y65, use an armadillo if you want to. Some people like armadillo mining in the precursor rooms that have large sapphire veins. Some people preferred manually mining the jade in the mines of Divan. By this point, I was sick of riding my armadillo, so I prefer mining topaz and ruby with a ball pet below Y65. If you fully max out your tree, your armor, your pet, your tools, and your gemstones, you can generate about 10 million gemstones per hour. Merkul's Mining Fiesta event, which is also brought by Mare's Jerry and sometimes Foxy, doubles that amount. At the time of making this video, gemstones can be sold to any NPC for 3 coins each, meaning a fully maxed out mining setup makes 30 million coins per hour or 60 million coins per hour during a mining fiesta. And remember, that's the NPC price. Make sure to check the bazaar and see if they're selling for more. Also worth noting Jasper is a weird case. It sells for more because it can only be found in fairy grottos that sometimes spawn in the hollows. Usually they don't contain enough Jasper to mine it non-stop, and it's the slowest gemstone to mine. That's all there is to gemstone mining, since I expect most of you won't go for 100% max on a Divan's drill. If you stop at around 6 million gemstone powder, jaded Divan armor, and a gemstone gauntlet with pretty much all perfect gems, you can expect to make between 15 and 18 million coins per hour. Maybe 20 if you're being really efficient. If you're still here at this point, consider hitting that subscribe button, or even liking the video. It really helps. If you have any comments or questions, post them below, or feel free to join my Discord server. Links in the description. Happy mining.